Good morning, children. As we know that we due to COVID-19, we are all stuck at home. So physically, we cannot take the classes at school. So we are starting with the virtual classes. We have covered, you know that we have started with the solution chapter. And we have covered the topics, binary solution, then what is the vapor pressure, then Routh's law and uh, deviation from the routes law so ideal solution non ideal solution and colligative properties so we will start with the next topic in my video but before watching this video do revise all the previous topics and concepts and if you have any query you can contact me at any time Children, we have done about the colligative properties. Till now, we have done lowering in the vapor pressure, relative lowering in the vapor pressure, then elevation in boiling point. The next colligative property is about the depression of the freezing point. Now, what's first of all, we should know about what is freezing point. When the liquid phase and the solid phase, they have the same vapor pressure that is the freezing point of that is known as the freezing point <clears throat> and both solid phase as well as liquid phase both are in dynamic equilibrium right both are in dynamic equilibrium and they are in the uh, they have the same vapor pressure now a solution now this is the uh, curve we can say vapor pressure versus temperature and there is will be the a solution will freeze only okay when its vapor pressure becomes equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solid substance for example this is a liquid solvent solvent and this is the solution curve this this a to B point first two points this is a liquid solvent here right at this till this vapor pressure just a vapor pressure come ho raha hai ye liquid yahan tak is vapor pressure tak this is the vapor pressure curve is vapor pressure tak it is liquid solvent after that this freezes and this is the vapor pressure curve this shows that the frozen solvent now this is the vapor pressure solution has already lower vapor pressure as compared to pure solvent because we know that when non volatile solute is added in the solution then its vapor pressure lowers down so its vapor pressure is already low as compared to pure solvent so vapor pressure it will lower down it will be it can be lower down easily at low temperature its vapor pressure will become equal to the frozen solvent vapor pressure so this curves meets here frozen solvent frozen solvent yahan pe froze ho raha freeze ho raha hai liquid jo solvent hai wo yahan pe freeze ho raha hai jabki solution ka jo hai wo yahan pe freeze ho raha hai means lower temperature pe freeze ho raha hai wo so this is the temperature at which the liquid solvent becomes a that freezes out that is a delta tf not whereas solution freezes out at temperature tf at this temperature so it means at lower temperature solution freezes whereas at higher temperature liquid solvent will freeze right and the difference between these two temperature that is the liquid solvent pure solvent and solution this is known as the depression in the freezing point theek hai change in temperature now delta tf jo hai so it means decrease in the freezing point that is the delta tf this is the delta tf not minus tf higher temperature minus lower temperature right so this is known as the depression in freezing point now in case of like that of elevation in boiling point we have done that for dilute solution delta tf jo hai this is directly proportional to molality and we know that the directly proportional there must be some direct proportionality constant this is known as kf this is known as freezing point depression constant or molar depression constant or cryoscope 
क्रायोस्कोपिक कांस्टेंट इट इज नोन एज क्रायोस्कोपिक कांस्टेंट नाउ इट इज दिस वैल्यू यूनिट ऑफ क्रायोस्कोपिक कांस्टेंट जो है दिस वैल्यू इट्स वैल्यू इज केल्विन केजी पर मोल राइट एंड इन दिस अगेन द दिस इज अ न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन न्यूमेरिकल्स आर न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑफन कम ऑन बेसिस ऑफ दिस डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट सो के एफ वैल्यू जो है नॉर्मल केसेज के एफ वैल्यू विल बी गिवन इन ऑल केसेस के एफ वैल्यू विल बी गिवन इन द नमेरिकल्स एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स वी कैन फाइंड आउट अदर थिंग ऑल थिंग्स विल बी गिवन वन थिंग विल बी मिसिंग एंड दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट वी विल डू द नमेरिकल्स ऑल्सो नो मोलैलिटी क्या होता है वट इज मोलैलिटी वी कैन राइट what is molality it is equals to the number of moles of solute mass of solvent in kg right now if it is taken as grams then it will be multiplied by 1000 that is number of moles of solute mass of solvent in grams and it will be multiplied by 1000 so this is molality now molality jo hai molality it means we can find out the molality for example in this case according to ncert w2 jo hai that is denoted for the solute and w1 one jo hai that denotes for that is given for the solvent and two jo hai subscript that is for the solute and that we have done in class we have done like a and b so b for solute and a for the solvent for example if we say w2 jo hai or wb jo hai that is for the uh, solute W1 or WA जो है दैट इज फॉर द सॉल्वेंट एंड इन द सेम केस एम ए फॉर द सॉल्वेंट मोलर मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एंड एम बी विल बी द मोलर मास ऑफ द सोल्यूट एंड डब्ल्यू बी जो है दैट इज अ गिवन मास ऑफ सॉल्यूट हेयर इट इज गिवन मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट राइट सो मोलैलिटी वट इज मोलैलिटी वी कैन फाइंड आउट द मोलैलिटी नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट वट इज द मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट बच्चे मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट इज गिवन मास अपॉन द मोलर मास गिवन मास अपॉन मोलर मास नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट सोल्यूट है सो गिवन मास क्या हो जाएगा डब्ल्यू बी अपॉन एम बी राइट सो इट विल बी मोलैलिटी विल बी डब्ल्यू बी अपॉन एम बी एंड मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट डब्ल्यू ए एन इफ इट इज इन ग्राम्स सो इट विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन थाउजेंड so molality is wb upon mb multiplied by 1000 divided by mass of the solvent given mass of the solvent so this is molality and what is delta tf delta tf is kf m so we can put the value of m here m ki value ye aa jayegi hamare paas delta tf will be equals to wb upon mb wa के एफ इन टू वन थाउजेंड एंड वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ मोलर मास ऑफ सल्यूट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस कॉलीगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी राइट एम बी आ जाएगा डेल्टा टी एफ आ जाएगा सारी वैल्यूज हमें गिवन होंगी दैन वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वन वैल्यू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट मोलर मास अगर फाइंड आउट करना है सो ऑल दीज वैल्यूज विल बी गिवन एंड वी कैन फाइंड आउट द मोलर मास ऑफ अ सल्यूट For example, now if this is an example, we can read out this example along with me. Please 
concentrate on the on your books also that 45 grams of ethylene glycol is mixed with 600 grams of water water is a solvent ethylene glycol is a solute here right 600 grams of water it means the value is given which value is given which it is which value has been given w a that is 600 grams water the away my solvent the away 45 grams of ethylene glycol that is w2 or wb right ethylene glycol we can find out ethylene glycol ka jo hai hamare paas molar mass that comes out to be 62 grams that is mb jo hai that is 62 grams per mole right so this has been given now we can find out what is we have to find out calculate the freezing point depression and the freezing point of the solution yani ke solution kya hai hamare paas tf hume find out karna hai aur delta tf karna hai freezing point depression right depression in freezing point jo hai this is related to the molality we all know therefore the molality jo hai of the solution with respect to ethylene glycol moles of ethylene glycol and mass of water in kg we know the moles kaise find out karenge given mass upon the molar mass 45 is already given so it is 62 grams per mole so this comes out to be moles ye hume mil gaye and mass of water in kg there is no need to convert it into kg also it is we can take the 600 grams and multiply it by 1000 that is the same thing right so zaruri nahi hai ki hum kg mein convert kare first of all samajh mein aage bache molality jo hai we can find out molality ke number of moles of solute divided by the mass of the solvent we can find out the molality and then there will be there will be the freezing point depression kya ho jayega hamare paas this is all now this comes out to be 2.2 kelvin so delta tf jo hai delta tf jo hai this is equals to that tf naught minus tf delta tf we have found out 2.2 kelvin tf naught jo hai we so we can find out tf jo hai we can find out that tf naught jo hai this is 273 water pa jo hai 273.15 minus 2.2 so it comes out to be 270.95 kelvin so in this way we can find out the solution freezing point of the solution and we have found out the delta tf also so do these numericals practice it and if you have any problem you can ask me at any time i will be ready to help you